Hi, beautiful family. Today I want to talk about a question that can pop up in our minds in times like these. Sometimes there are trials in our lives that we wish God could have kept us away from. The question is, does God really love me? Sometimes when our hearts are broken, we can question God's love. We want him to prove his love through answered prayer or through just watching our suffering and changing the situation instantly. We all know in our minds and in our hearts that Jesus loved us so much that he died an excruciating death for us and rose again and we will spend eternity with him. The challenge we face is making this love a reality in every moment. Although the love of our Heavenly Father is not visible or tangible at times, it runs deep and cannot be measured through what we see, whether good or bad. When things work out and when we feel blessed, it is easy to think that He is so good and loves us so much. Believing is a state of mind, not a feeling. It is an attitude of the heart, not a response or reaction to goodness. One person who allowed the love of God to catapult him into greatness and guide him through terrible trials is King David. As a man thinks in his heart, so is he. David grasped this love that God had for him, and he ran with it. He boasted of this love often. David encountered very bad times where he was close to death and rejected, but he was uplifted and overcame by remembering that the Lord loves him. It is this firm belief and trust in God's love for Israel that made him defeat Goliath. When we make up our minds to believe completely, our hearts start to believe, and then we experience peace that surpasses understanding. Love is the most powerful force in the universe. It can do what nothing else can. It can transform a soul. It can heal. It can defeat the evil one's plans. There is no end to what love can do. When we believe God loves us, the limitations on our lives, fear and discouragement crumble. The Holy Spirit can't make us believe. It is a choice for us to believe. And then Holy Spirit reminds us of God's love. Our strength in facing every challenge and overcoming comes from our unshakable confidence that Jesus loves us. Before the world was created, he loved us. Before he went to the cross, he loved us. After he rose again and right now, he loves us. It is the same love and is never changing. The extent to which we are willing to believe and receive this love will determine our joy, peace, growth and transformation in him. In uncertain circumstances, choose to believe He loves you and wants the best for you, no matter what is going on. We see healing manifest in some and not in others. It is not because He loves one more than the other. It is because we live in a fallen world and things will not be perfect in this world. Though we will not get all we want, and the good times and bad times will come and go, it is His love rooted in our hearts that carries us through and makes us invincible in this world. It is our greatest weapon and our greatest security from every disaster. I shared once a few years ago on an armed robbery that took place at my house when I was held at gunpoint and how God miraculously delivered me out of their arms. What I didn't mention was that one day a month before the robbery, the Holy Spirit sang a song of love to me while worshiping and I recorded it. He urged me to listen to it every night before I fell off to sleep and I did. I believe it was that deep-rooted love that filled my heart, that gave me courage in the moment and delivered me out of evil plans. It is worth more than anything in the world to believe his love. Convince yourself that he loves you, not only because it is written, but because it is a real and living love. In Psalm 26, verse 3, David says, Your love is ever before me, or your steadfast love is before my eyes. It can also read, for I am always aware of your unfailing love. This is David's motivation for victory, to overcome even in the face of opposition. He always remembered God's faithful, steadfast love, not determined by his circumstances. We have an opportunity every day, every hour and every moment to become more aware of God's unfailing love and keep it before our eyes. Let us declare like David does in Psalm 36, Your love, O Lord, reaches to the heavens, your faithfulness to the sky, how priceless is your unfailing love. And again in Psalm 52, David says, He is like an olive tree flourishing in the house of God because he trusts in God's unfailing love forever and ever. Believe this, the Lord consi considers you precious and honored in his sight, and he loves you. Love has a name, it's Jesus. 
Jesus is our hope. He is our healing. He is our joy and He is our strength. In uncertain times, His love is certain and we are more than conquerors through Christ who loves us. I hope you feel inspired to keep His love before your eyes. God bless you.